everybody. So, combining some of my Durham. As you can see, I'm leaving some spots go. Some of the low spots. There, I'll be leaving some. That's just too green yet. I noticed that some of the shade, I can kind of tell where there's some green stems yet, like, like where it looks more white, kind of a brighter color. Uh, it's a little bit tougher, a little more moisture, and it's a little tarnished too on some of the lighter areas where it's more ripe. It is tarnished, like here is tint of green yet, so I gotta kind of watch it. The straw is green here yet. Gotta go a little slower then. I'm dropping straw too, so I'm trying to take it a little lower for now. Yeah, I see 16 and a half moisture now here going through here, but this isn't bad though. This is this is fine though. I'm not too worried. I got some drier stuff. We've combined Durham before, where it's been 18% moisture. We've we've done that. I know this thing shows a little higher too, it just a little bit higher, so. But Durham is one of those things, it's not like spring wheat, I mean it's kind of the same thing, but Durham straw is a little tougher and uh, the it can get tarnished easily too, easier. So when it's borderline, it's get it off. <laughs> Don't dilly dally around with it. It's like this stuff right here where I'm going now, if this gets rained on again, oh, that'll be some ugly Durham then, I mean. It's not bad looking, it's not consistent looking. It's not all nice amber colored kernels. There's some tarnished ones. They're kind of bleached almost. That's what happens when you get moisture. Even morning dew affects it as well, so. Gotta take what I can. Leave those low spots go. Yeah, this is doing way better than I expected. Oh my gosh. I only got, I don't know if I can get one full dump on the trucks. I don't know if I'm gonna get my combine emptied or not. I have to go home and get the grain cart. Dad's swathing right now, so this is gonna be the best day for swathing. It's 87 degrees right now. But tomorrow, but the rest of the week, though, looks like it's only like lower to mid 70s and ain't gonna be swathing much flax down maybe only a couple hours out of the day we're gonna be swathing that's it it's gonna cut way too hard not much is gonna cure either when it's like that either see some deer have been walking through here yeah a little green here that's okay that's okay at least I know the quality is gonna be better on this Durham though that's just coming in there. Yeah, I shouldn't have planted Durham this year because I well, <laughs> can't sell this, the darn stuff right now. Still got Durham for the past two years yet too. Oh, no, did I have Durham last year? No, did I? No, I didn't have Durham last year, but I have Durham from the previous two years though. And uh, can't get rid of it. So, like I guess I shouldn't have planted Durham this year, but I was worried about the ergot as well, and as far as I can tell, I don't see any ergot in here. Okay, I gotta start turning out here. Kinda tough where to drop straw too, because you know, it's kinda screwy like this. This is kinda the first August lake day we've had all month. <laughs> 80 some degrees. Usually we got 90 degree days during this time. Kind of makes it unbearable being outside for harvest, but well, that's that's the best harvest conditions when it's for stuff like this. When it's dry, hot and dry. Or if I can squeeze over there or not. I wish I wasn't dropping the straw here now because I'm probably gonna end up driving over the top of it somewhat, but. Ooh wee. There's a little hint of green, yeah, on either side. I see there's green on either side and probably coming through here too. I don't know, I won't be dropping too much more straw. Just 
dropping a bit of durham straw here i mean we got we're gonna have plenty of straw in hand we got some oat straw to bail up so my brother combined some of his we're gonna get some of that stuff still got bales from last year yet and i mean i really i wouldn't drop any straw this year but the problem is you just don't know what's going to happen next year you're going to be in a drop next year and then straw is going to be hard to come by then anyway so it's like what do you do pick pick your evil <laughs> too much or not enough that's too much is a good problem to have I think next time I dump, I'm gonna be putting the chopper back on again and normally then, cause it's just gonna be too much screwing around around the low spots. Make some nice bales here. I don't know how much it'll get, how much it'll net for sure, but it'll be a bit, be quite a bit. Oh well, yeah, finally first day of harvest and yeah. Long day coming. Took it long enough. Took till mid-August. Usually we could, we're combining some stuff end of July, early August usually, but we're like two or three weeks late. Late spring and uh, just kind of a cool summer. I know I always hear in the news too, like July was like the hottest global temperatures on record or something. I'm just sitting here in North Dakota like, really? We've hardly had any days touch 90 degrees and it's gonna happen again this year. We're not gonna even get to 100. Last year we didn't get to 100 degrees and this year we probably won't either unless something changes for some reason in August here. But I think really the hottest days of the year this year was end of May, early June when I was trying to put the soybeans in. I think those were the hottest days. <laughs> dumb it's so good on top of this hill I don't understand that it's just weird all that rain or moisture really helped the sandy gravelly soil unbelievable see poor soil can produce it just needs timely rains or or just a crud ton of hit rain then it, then it does good then <laughs> way more grain than I anticipated yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this emptied. I don't know. There's not much room on that old truck yet. How long ago was that? Was that like 15, 20 years? No, 15, 16 years ago? That old truck over there. That used to be our biggest truck. Now I can only handle like a little more than one full hopper off of this combine now. <laughs> it ain't much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get the green cart. Take that truck home. It's full enough for that truck. It gets too full in front, you can't lift the hopper up then, or the box up, so. Oh, we go home, I guess. We go home. That wind, that wind has gotten the better of me all day long. Yeah, I'll believe it. on the next, my other field of Durham. Yeah, green patches here too. You can see it looks a little bit funny here and there's a green patch there and the low spot over there is bad. Green here. But this, I'm just going right through it though. It's a short stretch. Moisture is a lot better now than it was, you know, four hours ago. 
slower here. Plus, I'm getting shadows now from the sun, so hard for me to see the color of everything here. In a perfect world, I would have finished the Durham today, but no, never, never. I can see a green tint right here too. I don't understand that. This soil is just gravelly here. And man, I think that shows you the type of year we've been having here. <laughs> This field is producing too. Just nuts. I don't know what to do with the rest. If I let it wait for a while or swath it down, I don't know what to do for sure. See what tomorrow brings, see what the weather looks like. Maybe I'll swath it, I don't know. Yeah, I can patch here. This I'll go through. I take my time through it. Right here. I can't get back there on that finger wraps around the slough there. I can't get back there. As I know there's ripe Durham back there, but for, in order for me to get there, I have to go through a ton of green Durham. There just, there isn't enough to get back there. It's too much. I know some of that's right back there that I, I know I could combine half of that back there, but I just gotta let it go. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just, just kind of speechless for this field. That's the type of year we're having. As long as you can get the crop off, that's the thing. Long ways to go yet. I'm really concerned about the flax is what I'm concerned about. That's gonna be the, really one of the few, one, well actually probably the only crop we're really gonna be able to move, that's that's about it. We got some corn contracted and no beans. Um, it's, that flax seed is, once that gets off, I'll be sitting a little bit better than it. 